Welcome back to the channel, everybody. How has everybody been? It's Mags here. We are back again with some more Witcher 3 gameplay. We're starting off exactly where we left off as per usual. This time... Giving me no choice. I want you just for us. You trust me. Both of you. Didn't plan any of it. Silence! Hopefully we've got a plan of action. It's the easy bit. This bit's the hard bit. I've heard for you, Grapevine. You just run. You don't roll. To that, yeah. At least I could dodge him this time. Get yeah, some one shot. Basically, you've got to you got to attack him once when he lays his traps. All right, well we're getting we're getting better at that. We just got to avoid the traps on the floor and just run. So you basically get like one hit, maybe two. Also, I made I made a save slightly closer so I don't have to listen to the uh, the dialogue. Still hit him, that's pretty good. Right, nice. I'm pressing pressing space, but unskippable unfortunately. I've seen this quite a few times. Getting him to this phase is nice and easy. How did that hit me? I ran away. Two hits. Just for us. You tricked me. 
Out of hell! Didn't plan any of it. Silence! See you there. I'm dead now. <laughs> oh, the traps are the traps are cheesy. It's ridiculous, really. So if I can do either. I can't even roll there. Like, this hits me. Jeez, this is definitely not the run. She generally don't get it. I want you just the last. You trust me. Both of you. Didn't plan any of it. Silence. Okay, come on. I rolled. Stage, I got down to a T. Two bits where he's he C. Hit boxes are questionable. I was gonna say, do you reckon I can hit him while he's up there? Alright, just running straight in one direction is fine. Yeah, with three. I'm only gonna go for one there. I think it's the it's the speed is what is good. for two. He still hit me though. Just missed 
Alter. Past stage two. Still got health bar though, which is not great. Earth is this? I'm dead. I'm, I'm literally one shot. What do you think that will stop me? Prepare to die, Witcher! How did he parry the attack? You definitely didn't parry the attack. like mini deck laughs and signs is not right. Right, here he is. Yo, cheese ball. We get a little hit on against that. Alright, we got rid of one deck laugh. My good He just cornered me. Ridiculous, he literally just pinned me in the corner, I couldn't move. Ah, <sighs> I'm off it. I want you just like this. You tricked me. Both of you. Didn't learn any of it. Silence. Come away, that love. You, you trash. This phase is number phase number one. You're only good in phase three, mate. At two even. Phase three seems okay. I just had to. Phase one's easy. I've got phase two kind of like kind of wrapped around in my head there. I've, I kind of know roughly what I'm doing with it. You want to you wanna plan as much as you can. Dive attack, you just want to roll. And bats, you just run. This, you just... Many hits it as you can. I get hit here. I don't think I deserve that, but there's no like room to run. That 
should be good. We should be good, yeah. We're a bit fast with that one. Such a little cheese ball. Basically, you want to go into the the, the last bit with a bit a bit of health. Not like each time, I just haven't had any health, and I've got into it. I want to just the mass. You tricked me. Not the bell. Didn't plan any of it. Silence. You said we didn't plan any of it. Combo. Phase one. Might get cheeky in, but that's about it. Phase two, it's only his overpowered bat move that really is doing any damage. I rolled too early there. It's my fault. Silly bat move now. I don't call you Batman anymore. I don't. I don't get this, Bill. He drink, drinks our blood, but then we go into like weird, like deformity of him. I don't get this bit. This bit's weird. I get like the the secondary bit. Like he obviously gets super bad. Like he's a higher vampire, but this bit makes no sense to me personally. All I know is uh, I need to coin off the rip. Quinn's coming in clutch here. Do you think that will stop me? Prepare to die, Away from the wall, away from the wall. Oh my goodness, she's hit me for like 8,000 damage. He, hit, he hits very quick. I can get like two or three hits in, which I am literally... Two or three hits, I'm dead. I need to just remember which one's the, the damaged one. Not that one, so it must be... That one, yeah. Crazy attack, little chicken. What? 
That should have hit. So like. Roll away, roll away, please. He did actually parry that one. Oh, that one's almost done. such a chicken in your life. Yeah, four hits is... Well, it seems to be basically like the good number. Not if he's parrying now. The chicken with his batteries. All right, he's very good at that backhand one, it seems. you have to have a vampire to finish the other vampire right if I remember correctly I would just keep slicing at him I would free Regis but I would keep I would just keep you know come into like waters at least eight maybe Regis is putting himself back together I can literally see it right there please Regis please Uh, cause I don't know if he's gonna like let him live. All of that work.
my, what a smashing ensemble. You wear it well. Shut up. I look like a twit. The caftan is sewn of the best fabrics available, and according to the best tailoring practices. But one must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. Yeah, you're wearing something Usually a little different. different. Better suited to my trade. Got nothing against this particular outfit, though. Just don't exactly feel comfortable in it. And I despise formal occasions. Hmm. Nothing one can't get accustomed to. Now, be so kind as to stand still. All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. That's true. Paris protocol places enormous emphasis on form, virtuous tradition, etiquette. Is he holding his arms like that? Is he stuck? Values appearances ahead of all else, which calls for lordly, glistening triviality and misplaced generosity. Sound wistful. Pensive, Regis. That because they refuse to buy you a new outfit? Hardly. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering, which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. Besides, I've no need for a new outfit as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Why not? Because unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience. Count on it. Hmm. Ceremonies. Medals honoring virtues. Just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory? After all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victims' names to Detlaf. Perhaps we missed something. Perhaps, actually. Regis, Bootblack didn't say anything about making deliveries when we talked to him. How do you know he handled the letters? While you basked in glory and tried on new formal wear, I conducted a little investigation of my own. You'd be very proud to see how I conducted myself. I began by concocting an ample supply of boot wash for our enterprising young friend. I'd observed that among street folk, amidst their society as a whole, reciprocity takes precedence over all other codes, and thus no good deed goes unrewarded. Of course, the same holds true for malicious or destructive deeds. The letters, what's the connection? When the boot black arrived to collect his bucketful, he hinted he knew more. Simply put, we'd failed to ask the proper questions when we chatted earlier. It took a bit more tongue loosening, but ultimately he spoke. He admitted he'd handed Detlaf the letters. He knew this information was valuable to me. In providing it, he was simply repaying me. Hmm. Bad as ideas go. Talk to meet me there. Let's go. Yeah, let's meet there. Could be worth checking with the boot black again. Meet you by a stand. Fine. I shall await you there. Shoot the breeze with the charming lad to pass the time. The boot black? In the lower city? Intent to soil my masterpiece in the city's gutters? Promise to be careful. What I actually want to do.
optional. Quest available, see? Yeah, the quest available. So we've got a quest available down there. It's quite nice. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to the green marker. You Witcher, where were you when the vampires came to gut us? So I want to make some armor that I needed for the fight against their laugh that I didn't have, and I've already fought their laugh. Nothing doing. Something reeks around. Snow White, you with the ex Snow White. Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair, the scar. Ah. Something you. I had. To oh, I'm, I'm busy. You're trying to get me to meet with you some evening. Afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft. Portrait. Po. Come on. Don't itch. Let's. I need. We shall. All right, we'll do that another day. I'm gonna go sell my Let's go sell some plots in this dude. You need to show me your words. What have you got there? What I need to do is I need to sell. I want to keep these and I want to sell these. It is identical. Let's fix. Why do these need repairing? Okay, so we could sell them these two. Everything's repaired. Greetings. Oh, is my head there? Greetings. Craft something for me, yes. You craft something for me? Of course. Okay, so we need to find Grandmaster Boots. Look at this. D-line boots, griffin boots. Forty-seven. Uh, feline boots. We want the groundmaster. Wolven boots. Attack powers increased. Resistance. What's this one? Adrenaline resistance. Sign intensity is quite good, actually. Let's do the sign intensity one. Do I have to kind of buy these? Griffin boots. Griffin. Grandmaster Griffin armor. It's got a hood, that one. That one looks quite cool, actually. The woven armor is the one that's like, so that's our armor, right? I do like the sign intensity, though. I see they look awful, those ones. I do like the sign intensity, though. Should 
Should we do the wolf and armor? Cause we are the we are the wolves, right? Wait, do the do the boots still? No, so you only pin you only pin one armor. So I've got to find a lot of stuff to craft these. Farewell. Good luck on the path. I can't even I can't even craft them. I can't even buy the stuff off this dude to craft them. It's annoying. Oh well. Can't do it now. I didn't see a sinkhole on Ooh. Just in case. Not that we need to fight anyone, but... I think the sign intensity is just incredible. I agree completely, young man. Lois is clearly more adhesive than Lone. Isn't that the truth? I noticed it myself. But Clay? Now that's a real pickle to clean off. What? Oh, it's the swordsman. Good to see you. Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up. Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on then. I'm a proponent of free speech and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the soles that wear them. Clean boots, clean soles. A fine slogan. <laughs> How's business? Yeah. How's business? Well enough. I can't complain. Though it'd be even better for certain folk to sit down for a shine as they stood and chatted. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? How'd you get the letters? Got them. Why didn't you tell us this before, when we first talked? You didn't ask about beggars now, did you? Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One four. for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. It was different. Some had mismatched boots, others had no boots at all. Oh, I know! They all had no home! Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Where did they get their letters from, yeah? Of course. I've a mind like a steel trap, as I said. They were ragged, unshaved. Their clothes were tattered. As to their boots, well, I mentioned that already. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that boot shine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. Visit the shelter. Look around inside. Witcher. You've to move your little camp elsewhere. Got it? This is a decent district. We need no fill folk. You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, come. 
Please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. The them living here bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballard. Another defender of the poor. Fighter for justice. Damn you, sense. We for our women and young folk living next door. When even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. Decent folk you mention. Mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Hear that, Artois? He poking insults us. On our own turf. You need to fire on the site, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. Come now, Twitcher! Try me! I almost dumped my guts in fear. Fisty cups. A witcher. Didn't even take any damage. All right, I can take a hint. Come, time to go. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk the shelter elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beggars. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to aid you. Perfect, aid me. Uh, yeah, I just need some information, really. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Girl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait, they'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Sure all your usual beggars will be here? They're not obliged to come, of course. But they rarely find a decent meal elsewhere. So, almost all in the area eat here. Okay, fine. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. What's that up there? A dinner, maybe? My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve this room. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold, and we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeal? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romain. You were given a letter, and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got the one, too. Uh, gave it to the boot black. And Freshy, he got one. But he can't tell you, as he's not here. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the Feast of St. Barnabas. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said, 
and she was frightening. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. These men helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. Okay. Damn it. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. This time you will see to our Duquesa. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. Complete the puzzle for you. Puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter has ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Siana planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. It doesn't make sense. Obviously, she wanted to rule us. Why she did all this? The virtue's their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Yeah. She managed to fulfill her plan. None would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions. Ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Siana murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn penchant for evil? Yes, yes and yes. All seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you could always ask her yourself. Think it's a good idea? Yeah. Think it's a good idea? Sure. After all, we foiled her carefully planned scheme. Think she'll even want to? Talk to you? Would it harm you in any way to try? Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. Think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. Coming with? Yeah. Coming with? Of course not. I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions rampage. Besides, I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So, said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. I've never been fond of categorical statements of that kind. But I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. She treated Detlaf cruelly, caused his death in the end, and now this, atop all that, no, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. It's funny that he's blaming... He was blaming... Detlaf for that, so I need to go to the... Oh, amazing. We get f We have a fight, we've got, like, no armor on. Okay, well he's blaming he's blaming her for that. We're gonna we're gonna see. I suppose she would be to blame. She kind of. Talk to Sienna. Yeah, I need to talk to everyone really. Interesting. He's he's a hundred percent adamant that it's up to her. I mean, I suppose realistically it is. I want to do the optional one first, though. I don't want to do the... It's got, to go, it's got to go down, apparently. That's the...
Halt! Need to see Siana urgently. In the matter of? Want to talk to her. It's important. Want to talk? Go see your gran at tea time. Not one locked up on the Duquesa's orders. No doing without special permission. Period. Found some information important to her case. Need an explanation. Urgently. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you for my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. Perfect. Two locked doors. Speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Have you come to see how I fare? I'm fine, thank you. Artorius's Ripon worked wonders. It's a shame they took it from I me. I know for... who the fifth victim was supposed to be. Goodness, you're simply a compulsive snoop. I'm in prison. Deadlaf is dead. Could you not just drop it? Sienna, stop pretending you couldn't care less. I know it's an act, and it's really starting to wear. Why do you want to kill her? For such okay. an accomplished investigator to ask about the obvious? Come now, Geralt. Why do you think? Because of the Black Sun, because you envy her, maybe. Because you turned your back on her and forgot about you. I don't think that's why she would want to kill her, because she turned her back on you and forgot about you. Let's go with... Let's go with envy. You envy her. Her power. Her beauty. The love of her people. I see I misjudged you. You understand nothing. Well, what now? Off to share your discovery with Anna Henrietta. Oh, she's no longer in danger, true. But she very well might add a little something to your reward. Definitely gonna tell her. Not necessarily for the coin, though. Then why do it at all? She oughta know. If only because you'll probably try to kill her again if she ever lets you out. Exactly. So it's the right thing to do? I probably will. There you go, then. At least you're being honest, finally. Lying only ever makes sense when there's a chance someone would believe you. It's actually refreshing, in a way. To say what I truly think. So why don't I do it a bit more? I was only ever nice to you to get you to sleep with me. I thought you might come in handy one day. Your comrade Regis is using you. And Anna Henrietta perceives you solely as her unthinking, blunt instrument. She's right to, you know. Enjoy hurting people? That it? Sorry, but won't give you the satisfaction. The Witcher mutations, you know. It's hard to draw my blood. Don't worry. I'll find a way. Have a nice life, Siana. What are you trying to do? Punch the glass? Weird. Commander de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Let's go. No, I don't know. I see him too. I don't know if I need to talk. I need to talk to someone else. You know what? I should have not pressed. It. Yes. Damien. Geralt. It's about time. Ready for the ceremony? No. Yeah, let's do fifth victim when I know who it's supposed to be. Information. Anna Henrietta was supposed to be Deadlaf and Siana's fifth victim. You are certain of this? Completely. Found proof. Inconceivable. How could she? The murders, the mayhem she brought down on the city, were they not enough? She sought to strike down her own sister. Her liege. Traitor. 
I must alert my men. Enlarge the Duchess's honor guard. Make certain Sylvia Anna is closely watched during the questioning. I'll see to it personally. Good. Good. I thank you, Witcher, for alerting me. And I appreciate your attentiveness. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. Oh, okay. She's there, so I can tell her there. Hopefully. In the guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the ducal treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of the beast of Beauclair, step forth. <clears throat> we bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for 200 you. 200 XP? How many coins? I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? Really honored. Can't wait. Got bad news for you. Feels like a second distinction. I'm honored. Thank you. I trust you shall make good use of it. In a moment, I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me. Yet you also showed me her horrendous deeds. As head of state, I must judge her fairly. But she is my sister. Thus my heart bleeds for her. Yeah, it's tough. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. She's coming here. Right, that's probably better actually because there's a lot of guards here. Plus me and the Damien dude. Damien dude's pretty good. The Witcher will take part in our talk. Duchess asked me to stay, yeah. Uh, free to do as I choose, yeah, I am. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Thus, I have asked Geralt to advise me. As one impartial. 
I shall now hear what he has to say. This is tough. <laughs> she should be punished just like any other criminal. Your Grace, as head of state, you should look first and foremost after your dominion. Yep. Siana's actions, what drove them, be damned. She's a threat to your subjects. You are correct. She's a threat they to you as well. Matters. I couldn't say she needs to be punished like a common criminal. Siana, you shall be tried and given a fitting punishment. Yet we shall never cease to be family. As Duchess, I shall have to judge you. But as your sister, I shall never stop loving you. Ah. Will you forgive me? I don't think this is going to go well. I don't know. I think she's going to do something. I shall never forgive you. Maybe I should have said that instead of it was an honor she's trying to kill you. Maybe things would have gone differently. Oh, I, don't know. I feel bad now. I feel like I could have prevented it. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not like the fight with Detlef. You was always going to. It was either I had to fight with Detlef or try this other thing that might help me not fight Detlef. But I ended up fighting Detlef anyway. Sometimes your choices don't, don't matter. Some flowers, a wreath, or I've none. Sold everything. I was just on my way out. No sense hanging about with nothing to do. Should come as no shock, sir. Had the funeral, folk took it all. Men, women, children, all wished to lay a bouquet on the Duchess's grave. Wind flowers, peonies, gladioli. But she liked common roses best. I know. Her ladies in waiting would come here at times. I'd choose the loveliest blooms for her. Fragrant, big petals, the kind that last a long time. Ah, uh, I've still not come to terms with it. To be killed by her own sister. How could it happen? Yeah, she was too trusting. Anna Henrietta wanted to believe there was still hope for Sianna. She did. She show remorse. She reached a hand out to her. Too soon. Too trusting. Oh, I know you. You're that witcher from the north. The one that saved us from the beast. Mm-hmm. Could say that. Wait here. Take these. Thought you were out of flowers. I put a bouquet aside. I was to take it to her myself. But you have it. I know you held the Duchess dear. How much do I owe you? Not a copper. Keep your coin and raise a toast in her memory tonight. Do just that. Farewell. It's tough. wasn't exactly all her to blame, you know. I felt like there was a little bit. You know, her sister was very great, but a bit to Lulu. The Duchess was dead. A terrible tragedy. 
But order in the Dutch you Your boots make. could use some polish, Vegas. Uh, watch it. Someone said about boots being polished. The speclipiota. Man's root for lust is the coin of all. Witcher, I was certain you'd departed. Couldn't. Anna Henrietta was... Wondrous. Beautiful. Good. The best ruler one could hope to have. Yet I let her down. Yeah, don't really be soft. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one expected Siana to do that, persist to the end. And none of us did anything to stop her. Because there was nothing we could do. Uh, I suppose you are right. But when someone so beloved dies, one cannot help but search one's soul for blame. And even the hardiest knights grow faint-hearted then. Come to pay my respects. Bid the Duchess farewell. White roses. They were her favorite. Go inside then. She lies in the ducal crypt, in one room with her murderer, despite my protests. What? Who decided that? The Regent's Council. A pack of old men who've statutes and codices for hearts. Ducal blood flowed in Siana's veins, and she was never legally disinherited. So they ruled she should lie alongside Anarieta. Makes sense, though, to be fair. It's not like she can do anything. Oh, that's tough. Let's do both. Let's do one on each, or two on each. Let's be fair, realistically. And all this, what did it bring you? Rest in peace. As well as then her spirit can't like haunt and stuff like that, you know? Regret it ended this way, that I failed to prevent it. Hope you can forgive me. Rest in peace. Stylish crypt, quite subdued. Yes, this is the kind of eternal resting place I dream of. Moments like this. I never know if you're joking or serious. Serious, Geralt, serious. It's remarkably peaceful, subtly charming to the hilt. A perfect match for the Duchess's dignity. Ah, oh, you humans, you'll never cease to amaze me. To feel despair in the face of natural processes to which you are predestined. I've come to take you from this place, my friend. Dare say you deserve a speck of respite after the mad whirl of the last few days. All those deaths I failed to prevent. Feel pretty awful right about now. Can't help thinking I could have done more. Now Toussaint is left without a ruler, or more accurately, chaos rules here. Hand in hand with despair. Duchess won over people's hearts. All Beauclair now weeps for her. A mass outburst of emotion. Well, it seems her subjects have adopted some of their recent ruler's traits. Why the sarcasm? Thought you liked Donna Henrietta. I did. 
And I do truly rue her passing. Me too. Then let us drink. Always seemed to me you were a very complicated creature by nature. Not one to resort to such simple methods like drinking your worries away. There exist worries for which they're quite simply. It's no other medicine. Enough. Whatever you say about Siona, you gotta admit, she was unbending. That she was. I do admit it. Though, in her case, it would have been better if she had been a tad more... Mm, philosophical. Pausing from time to time to reflect on the propriety of her actions. True. Some very big words. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Yeah, Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. This moonlight. Okay. We've got to put on. We've got to put on this mask. I've gone to the wrong place. Okay, it's bugging. Any for your thoughts? Okay, well, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to say thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed today's content, then please do consider liking and subscribing. It does help out the channel quite a lot. And hopefully, I'll catch everyone on another stream or video sometime soon. Peace.